if I didn't get so weak and accidentally suppress <gasps> Okay <sighs> What? Hey guys, are you? I hope you're fine. My name is Magda Kaidahok and today I am playing episode part 5 of Doki Doki Literature Club Now, on the last episode Something was going on with Sayori. I am really, really worried about her because she was acting really weird. Um, and the fact that I wrote a poem for Natsuki didn't help at all, so there's that. And also, we had to take uh, a really important decision. We had to choose who we were going to help with the preparations for the festival during the weekend. And I ended up choosing Yuri. Yeah. So. One would think that I was the one going to her place, but no, she's the one coming to my place. Great. Now this is what can happen. Sayori is going to find out that she was at my place one way or another. It could be she decided to go to my place during the weekend and saw Yuri there and we were in a really compromising position or she was just chilling at my place, but she found us anyway. Or someone at the club spills the beans. So like I said, I don't think there's anything we can do to stop her from discovering that we spend the weekend with another girl so let's see how that goes um it's already sunday yes i know i've been getting increasingly anxious about yuri's upcoming visit that makes two of us i keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous but it doesn't help much because you know it, it Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. You are nervous because you don't want Sayori to figure to find this out, but she's gonna do it. She's gonna find it one way or another. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Nope. Mm. No. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. No, 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 Sayori, do not pick my phone. Do not, do not, no. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting, bleh, but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. No. No. Oh my god. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. So here's my thing. Odohoko. You and Sayori are neighbors. If you were that worried about your future wife, you could literally just go into her house, knock the door, and see if she's alright. Thing that I would do, you know, because I'm worried about her. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Yeah, so basically Sayori said that, oh, she's fine, like, like oh, I'm fine, blah, 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 blah. And like it looked like she wasn't fine and she was just pretending and then Monica was like, oh yes, I talked with her, she's fine. Well, she... did she say? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't go into too much detail, but there's something fishy going on here. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No! I don't remember Monica saying that. But I do remember that she said that she was going to talk with Sayori because maybe I was the reason why she was upset and so she needed some space, but that doesn't, that doesn't, uh, I forgot the word in English, but that doesn't, like, ugh, forget it. Oh man, I decided, I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than ask it, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Yes! But I don't know, I'm, I'm so nervous now. And there's no music, so this makes it worse. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit, to, a, a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. I don't like this. I, I, have, a, I have a bad feeling. I, I really have a bad feeling. I have the characters folder open. And there's no change in... Yeah, Monica, Natsuki Sayori. There's no changes on that. So... <sighs> the house is quiet. 
Sayori isn't anywhere in the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. I'm not ready. I, I really have a bad feeling about this. I don't... I don't want to. I don't want to. But I must. Sayori? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like a hundred percent sure I was going to find Sayori dead. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so sure that was what was going to happen. Oh my god, because just the fact that the house was completely quiet and that she didn't go and meet me. Oh, I thought she had killed herself. I'm shaking. I am shaking. I haven't been so happy to see Sayori in my entire life of gameplay of Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna cry. Hi, Yadahoko. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Um, I guess you're right. My heart. This is too much for my heart. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is a mess. It's as messy as it's, it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, I wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Well, I don't know, I thought you were going to kill yourself. Aren't you supposed to see you? How do you know? Yeah, but... Wait, how do you know that? Sayuri had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. Monica. <laughs> It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Um... Oh, that's true. Mm. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. I guess I could have also done that, but the game didn't want me to do that, so... Oh, so it's just me and Yuri then. So, okay, so Yuri knows about me and Yuri meeting, and she's fine with it? I mean, it, okay, it's better than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori girl, this is the moment that you need to confess. So I know how you feel and I can tell you how you feel. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I didn't realize that I have loved you all this time. Uh. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, 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 when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's... Oh, that's no good at the hook. 
Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? What do you mean? What do you mean? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally suppress. <gasps> Okay. <sighs> what? If I didn't make that stupid mistake, what? What are you talking about? Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. Wait, what? Okay. The way I understood this is that you weren't careful enough, and you told me how she, how you felt, but you actually never did. So maybe you're talking about how you let your feelings show off. I'm upset kind of thing. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? What, what are you talking about? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Sh should I be worried? <laughs> Sayori! I grabbed Sayori by the shoulder. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Confess, I'm begging you. Ah, I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap of the hoko. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Huh. Seen what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, the hoko? Yes, I, I, I'm totally lost here. Like, I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh, did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Oh... Re <clears throat> what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Wow. Girl. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? It's not that she doesn't want you to think about her. She doesn't want you to worry about her. Because if you worry, then you may become upset or not like unhappy. And she doesn't want you to be unhappy. She, if, if there's someone that has to be unhappy, then she would rather that it's herself instead of others. That's kind of what depression is all about. It's not that that's what depression is all about, but that's, that's, you know what I mean. Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend and future boyfriend. 
All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Odohoko. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Ugh. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bad being song against my head. <laughs> oh wow. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. So she wasn't jealous. Oh man. Should I? Oh, was I supposed to say that if Yuri asked me to walk with her? Was I supposed to say that I would? Because it all makes sense now. Like, Sayori wants me to be friends with everyone. And by asking that question, she wasn't making, sh like, she wasn't jealous. She wasn't making sure that I was forgetting her or replacing her. She was making sure that I wouldn't care for her that much. Oh man, I love this game. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spirit going through my heart. Oh, so she is jealous. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to cry. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Adohoko. There's nothing. Nothing at all. Oh no, hold on. I need, I need to get my fuel spillo. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. And what do you mean by that? But I was selfish. I finally show you what a horrible person I am. You're not horrible. Tears streamed on. Down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. No. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. No. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. Hunt her, god damn it! This time, I I pull her into tiny pants. Uh, mm, okay, that. Oh, the hoko. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm dying. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her size. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Oh, No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Oh, the hoko. I. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. 
I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. No, maybe it was a good choice to say that I would still walk home with Sayori. Yeah. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, so the Hoko. You love each other. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. Mm. As she does, I let her go as well. No, now I need a hug. The festival is tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? <gasps> is it a date? Uh, um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, it has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard to me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Oh. oh man. Oh man. Okay. Oh, my heart. My heart. My Kokoro. I need to save. This was so hardcore. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. Hmm. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. You will. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri is already there. Yuri! Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? <laughs> no, just for like three days and two nights. No, I, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. Uh -huh. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's why I... You know, it makes more sense for me to go to your place, but okay. That's right. Uh, and did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? I didn't buy anything, did I? Oh, yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. Handshake would be fine. Ooh, nice room, Hoko. Okay, ooh, lots of books, I like that. 
I take Yuri to my room. Why your room? Why don't you use the living room? The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> yeah, it's not this way all the time. I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Oh, no. Um, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. <laughs> well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. What do you have in there, the Hoko? Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? <laughs> yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you could help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmo uh, atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, uh, arom aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. Um, are you trying to set the mood in my room? I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Oh, of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Are you going to drug me? I know there's like a, like a, I don't know if it's a drug, maybe it's a drug. That you smell it and you become like all funky and stuff. Although many would stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will lift them when wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Oh, intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Hmm. He, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? <laughs> Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She puts out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. Okay. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have this in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. That is kind of creepy. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. Mm, that that sounds like a cult thing to me. You know, everything looking black and candles. Uh, no, it could be romantic in another context, but mm -mm. what's that wooden thing though? Oh wait, I wanted to check. Is there any changes in Sayori? No. Okay. So, who oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I am not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contri contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it per permeate through, my through your body. <laughs> hey, relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of, of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. On the top. Okay, so the thing is, me and vapor. I don't know if it's vapor or vapor. I think it's vapor. But the first year that I moved to Canada, 
I was just studying with some friends, and I said the poor, and they still、uh, bully me for that. It's okay, so I think it's vapor. No, it's vapor. Vapor. Wow, that smells wonderful. In less than one second, I'm gonna be drugged. What kind of mood is this one for? Is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the band because it provides more than relaxation. If you know what I mean, wink, wink. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. That's the drug that I was talking about. That is so the drug that I was talking about. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, to tie you up. Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be、uh, we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We will need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah, what will those be used for? <laughs> well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway from the of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? He would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. He may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose it did get a little intense, as you'd put it. <coughs> <coughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. I'm gonna say it's not that. I will hope. I would like. I would really like for it to be that, but it's not. Here's Marco or the Hoko. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Here they mean like Japanese characters, like the yeah Japanese characters. It's not Romanji, so it's like a literal Japanese letter. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. I just thought of that. It's not a legend, but it's like a story, and I really like it. I believe in this. That it, it's called the Red Ribbon of Destiny, something like that.、Um, so basically, every single person in this world is connected to their soulmate through a red、um, ribbon or a red thread from their pinkies. So my pinky should, well, no, is connected to my soulmate. And the story is that it doesn't matter how far you are or. Any other obstacles, the ribbon or the thread cannot.、Um, it can be tangled, and it can be as long as it needs to be, or as short as it needs to be. But it will never break. It doesn't matter what happens; it will never break. I really like to believe in that, so I thought of that and this. I don't know why, but I had the feeling that it was related to that story. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Ooh, I don't like that. You did with a knife, eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. This is when I discover that I'm also a psychopath. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's Judy's favorite murder weapon. I call it. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, 
Well, I, I, I got it from my last victim, so I wouldn't know. Embarrassed, Judy looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. She likes collecting knives. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. <laughs> okay, hmm. Good to know. They're just so pretty. Was that the knife you used to murder the raccoon? I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Uh, no, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you? Really? Really, Alohoko, it suits her? Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Um, sure, why not? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it around. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index. And you thought this was going to be a good idea? How? Oh, yeah. Oh, the hoko. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. If she had warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. And you know this because you've dried it on skin before? Oh no. A small drop of blood tickles down the side of my finger. Okay, I, I, I just had the mental image of Yuri being like, Oh, what can I do? And she's suddenly sucking my finger. I, I Please don't. Game, don't. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. When she sees blood, she can't help it. Uh, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. No, okay. Mm. It happened. Uh, um, it's going to happen, isn't it? Uh, with a warning, you to put my finger in her mouth and links the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. You is desperate, man. Startled, I instantly pull my hand back. Oh. oh Please forgive me I'm a vampire, I can't help it I wasn't thinking Yes, you were, you were thinking And you didn't want to put my finger in your mouth You wanted to put something else, young lady Hi Yuri lowers her head Her face burning up Yuri That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Hmm. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the. Oh, I thought he was going to say for the rest of her life. I'm like, whoops, it was weird. Yep. Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. No, 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 no. All the hookers going to do the same thing. Oh, okay, no. Why, game? I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. 
you know, on their other synchrostances, if this were Sayori instead of Yuri, this would be... I still have my pillow with me. This would be better, but, um... I, I, I hate this. Well, the Hoko! Did, did you really just do that? Did, uh, now we're even. <sighs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. She's so weird, the Hoko. Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Um, I don't have any. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding, so thank you for sucking my finger. I never thought I was going to say that in my life. I see. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch... I watched Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I can. Uh, meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Okay. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door cur curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Wink, wink. Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? Well, I'd like to create the banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tables. Oh, that's right. One of the ideas Judy had, had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. Oh, I wish. I want to buy a watercolor paint tablet soon. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tables in. Tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Mm, leaving Yuri alone in my room doesn't seem like a good idea. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, you would be too diluted. Alright. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use the small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Oh my god, were you hurting yourself with a knife? You were so cutting yourself. Um, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Do you get excited by cutting yourself? And when I mean, when I say excited, I mean horny. Ha! <laughs> no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's meet the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors of a s for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Oh, neat. What are you going to write? <laughs> well, he would be more fun to surprise you. It's going to be like a cult thing. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses the brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. 
Printing on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ha! Ah. I'm sorry if this, feels, if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Mm. Judith stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. <laughs> even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I cannot understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bob into hers. Yeah! Uh, sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I I'm not hurt. Then what's all the blood on the floor? And then I discover that she was cutting herself. It's ju it just started me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of pain on Yuri's face and neck. No, don't, Odohoko. Do not do anything. Do not do anything, Odohoko. Is there something on my face? Uh, yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. Mm, what about no? What about no? I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Let Let it do it herself because I think she's getting a little too excited about this entire thing. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect this. Neither did I, Judy. Neither did I. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but she doesn't let me. But Judy suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Um, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. Like, I can just imagine the entire situation. How weird would it be if you're just like, um, okay, all right. Like, it wouldn't be awkward if you had feelings for this person. Like, I can imagine Yuri's having the time of her life right now. But all the hope is just that, like, this is so weird. I would rather be doing this with Sayori, but okay. Lord. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Is this ecstasy? Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? <laughs> I just like oh Hoko, he's just like holding her neck and face and at the same time he's like what is happening? I don't want to do this. Is it the aroma of the jasmine all giving me this this I knew it! I knew it! She dropped me! Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sent a tingling sensation through my arm. No. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. No. Huh. No, Yuri slowly pulls away. Yes. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. Uh-huh. I didn't mean to space out. Uh-huh. It's fine. It's not fine. It is so not fine. 
The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. What if Sayori can see what's going on through her window? Like, what if her window and my window are, like, right in front of each other? Ah, uh, how can I explain this? I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Okay. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. Are you still horny? I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you are you going to add the lettering now? No, she said she was going to wait until it dries. Oh, not yet. He needs uh he uh it it needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. You could have done this completely by yourself, lady. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Because I am. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Yep. Oh no, it's not that. I wasn't enjoying myself at all. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Oh. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. For what, Odohoko? Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. And no, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. I just had a flashback. Uh, I wish I hadn't had it. The, okay, basically, the second to last crush that I had, which messed up my life entirely, um, I fell, well, I didn't, well, yeah, I fell in love with him one day after we were at his place. This is, oh my god, I am so duty. We were at his place, we were supposed to do this, like, group project together, and at the end of the day, we had, like, a lot of free time before my dad picked me up. And um, I just suddenly discovered how many things we had in common and boop, I just, yep, wish I didn't have that flashback, but this is exactly the same. This is like a deja vu. I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. It has to be the last time that it happens. Once Judy packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need, to, you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I cannot say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Nope. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Nope. 
Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Judy simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know that you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Otohoku. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. No! I kind of like that. <gasps> no! 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 You step the heck back, you demon! I think I'm, I kind of like that about you. No! 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 I was gonna say something about the sun and some, but no! No! Well, no! How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to use Yuri suddenly pulls back. Oh, thank God. No! No! <laughs> no way! No, this, this is not happening. No. No. This is... This is not... This is... No. <laughs> no. No, Bay, I swear I can't explain this. Huh? Ah, no. Ah, hi, Hoko. Sayori. Just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Hoko. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayuri beams. I yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayuri waves goodbye after her. She's totally going to kill us. Why the sudden change in music? Ah, uh, okay. I'm thinking. Should I should I end this episode here, or wait for the next day? I'm gonna wait for the next day. I can't. I can't end this this game right now. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. Hmm. I'm going to save because, you know. Yep. And how close you got to her. It makes me... No! No! Sayori, I didn't want to help Yuri in the first place! Don't cry! That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall on Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Odohoko? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Odohoko, please do us all a favor and just confess. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Sayori! No! I'm running out of battery, no! It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. No! Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Olohoku. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. What? What did Monica say? I should just... Monica... Monica is like the typical bully who says like she's super nice and stuff but she's like you know the world would be better if you weren't here that kind of thing oh my god Monica 
Monica was right about what? <sighs> Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. What? Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. Put your hand on my shoulder. I'm scared, Odohoko. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like- <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what to do with my pillow anymore. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Oh, can I say something about this? I like you so much that I want to die. No, don't die for me. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. Please, please, game, please, please let me say that I love her back. Please, I'm going to save once again. Oh my god. I don't want you I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my head on Sayori's arm and squeeze her head in my arm. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Worthless Lisa, you're in odds, I do, even if you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know that you need what you need the most right now. Kiss her, kiss her. And that's what I'm going to give you. Kiss her, kiss her. Sayori! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Sayori! I'm not going to send you to the friend so no way! You'll always be my dearest friend, Sayori. I love you. I'm so happy. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you can like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. Yes, but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I have said any of your partners. As long as we continue like this every day, I'm going to have a heart attack. With you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Oh, the Hoko! <laughs> Suddenly, Sayori wants her arms tight around me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, the Hoko! Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. Oh my god, I am so happy. This is never going to happen to me in real life, but I'm still so happy for love. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love uh, I love you, the Hoko. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. What? I always I always thought that this would be the happiest moment for me. But why even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Orohoko. Are you talking about your tears? It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. Where's the kiss? So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? 
I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. With a little plus. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Odohoko. Sayuri gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more, more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. Comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh! It's the day of the festival. Oh! Oh! Oh, I am so happy. This is the best episode ever. Oh my god, I cannot be any more happy. Oh, I would love to talk about it, but I'm really running out of battery, and I don't want this to end before I finish the video. I'm going to talk about this in the next episode, but wow, this was a roller coaster of emotions. I am going to play the next part right away because I can't wait. So that's a wrap, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this emotional video, and I hope I get to see you guys soon. Bye.